All right, welcome to my Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass Skins Review. In this episode, I'll be covering Renzo the Magnificent. Now, obviously, we are more than halfway through Season 2 already, and I'm still trying to get through all these skins. I've done most of them already. I think I have maybe two or three left, but I haven't covered the first one yet. Tier 1, Renzo. So everyone says that this is one of the best Tier 1 skins we've ever had. And I'll be completely honest, I have never ran him yet because I wanted my opinions to be true to the first time I ever ran him. So obviously he's on page one and page two of the battle pass. And you can unlock some of his other styles in the bonus rewards section. All right, so here we go. I've got his entire combo equipped. First things first, he does come with pretty much everything. He's got himself a contrail, a glider, a pickaxe, a back bling, an emote, and a wrap. So if your only goal is to complete a full combo, this skin is already starting off great. So his description says, the galaxy's premier doom influencer, Renzo the Destroyer. So let's take a look at what we got in terms of his styles. So his default is literally Renzo the Destroyer. And it looks like you can customize or toggle on and off his coat. Now, like most of these battle pass skins, he has a really cool and unique locker pose. Watch what he's about to do here. He kind of chuckles, and then he throws his head back and laughs. Very, very creepy, but I like it. So he appears to be some kind of robotic bad guy. You can see his legs are not human. His face is not human. He's kind of like a Terminator, in my opinion. But he's got a mohawk made out of some kind of flames. So he definitely looks like a boss, that's for sure. Now, his customization includes his coat, which you can toggle on and off. This actually looks really clean. I'm normally not a fan of coats, but that looks really good. I think both options look really clean. The back bling looks a lot better though without the coat. With the coat, it kind of lingers in midair a little bit. Now he's also reactive, but you can turn the reactivity off. I think it's just his hair, but I'm not 100% sure. When you have it on, you can see it kind of expands outward. So I think that's the reactivity. So that's his first style. Then he's got Renzo the Magnificent, which is really, really bright white. I love that style. His hair turns to orange, or his flamey mohawk turns to orange, that is. And you can see the coat does turn colors based on which style you pick. So again, here's what it looked like on this one. The inside is purple and a little light blue. And the outside even changes a little bit as well. Really clean. Now the other three styles are of course the super levels and I don't even have one yet, but I'll just briefly show you. This is Kinetic Rush. And again, the coat does change in tune with that. And then we got Neon Citrus. Turns them all the way green. And this is probably my favorite one, but again, I don't have it unlocked yet because you gotta be pretty high level to get this. Very nice color scheme all around. So we're gonna start with the default. Now his back bling is called the Nemesis Box. It says, nobody knows what it does. They're too afraid to ask. I was hoping this would be reactive. I don't know if it is, but it doesn't say so. His pickaxe looks really clean. The Destroyer's Destroyer. Now, unfortunately, this one only has two styles, so you can't match every single style this skin has. But they do look pretty clean. Can't wait to see that. His glider is called Skulltron. It says, never leave home without your giant flaming skull. And again, two styles here. Now, as for the wrap, it is animated. It does not appear to be reactive, but it has a pretty solid color scheme that might match all the styles. We'll have to see. And he's got one of the cooler emotes from the Battle Pass, Swag Shot, guilty of sweating. Taking his mug shots there, and then he tosses it away. Very clean. So let's hop in and see how he plays. All right, so first, check out his amazing contrail. It's not often that you have a contrail that expands below your character. Normally, it's just what you see above, such as the flames going up. But he literally has a swirling vortex below him. That is sweet. So let's take a look at the Skulltron glider. Here we go. This is the deploy. Okay, so normally I'd be super impressed by that. But it looks exactly the same as the Green Goblin's glider, if I'm not mistaken. It's still really, really cool, but we've seen it before. So that is pretty clean. It's a giant skull, and the Mohawk does not start off with flames. You can see it sprouts the flame right as you hop on it. 
So that's kind of cool. Let's see if there's a contrail when we go forward. Oh yeah, it gets a little afterburner effect. And it looks like the Mohawk expands upwards as well. A little too close for comfort there with the flame. <laughs> Holy smokes. So that's not a bad glider. It's a lot different than what I was expecting, that's for sure. Let's go down a little bit. One more time. So here's backwards. And left. And right. And forward. Not bad. Alright, first up, the pickaxe. Listen to this pullout sound. It's very, very strong. What a clean looking pickaxe. It's almost like the galaxy effect. Just a brilliant color scheme, matches his mohawk perfectly. It's two-handed, not dual-wielded. A lot of people are getting tired of the dual-wielded ones. See if there's a contrail. Oh, a beautiful contrail that literally drips the galaxy effect. It's almost like molten just coming off of there. That is really clean. And how about a splash? Oh, absolutely. It's like a dark void in space. That is cool. Well, so far, I am not disappointed with this skin. Here's the swag shot emote. See him turn around, look right at us. That's clean for looking at the front. Nice. So, other than his mohawk, he's got some kind of beads attached to him that glow. And maybe a little bit on his feet. Let's see if there's a contrail down there. Nope. Let's turn the lights off and take a look. Oh, okay. The back bling does light up as well. You can see his mohawk. Very clean. Let's take a look at the front again. I think his eyes are... Yeah, his eyes glow pretty good. Not bad at all. Here's the contrail at night. I just love how it drips little stars down. So clean. So the real question is, how does the aim down sights look with that big hair or the mohawk? Okay, it's not too bad. You can see that a majority of your view on the top left is obstructed due to it, but that's not too bad. Obviously nothing down here where your crosshairs are, are affected, so that's good. Looks like the wrap matches pretty nicely. Again, there's no reactivity. It's just simply animated. Let's take a look at it in the nighttime. Okay, it looks way cooler with the purple swirls coming at you there. And of course the mohawk is super, super bright at night as well. Pretty clean. So here's what the first style looks like with the cloak. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's gonna glow a little bit on the bottom. Oh yeah, that glows really nicely. So I think this kind of completes his overall design a little bit better than without it. You can see the inside of the cape looks pretty sweet as well. Not bad. Okay, so here's the secondary style. I thought I would like the first one better, but this one is definitely growing on me. The bright white, yes, you may stand out a little bit more, but it just flows so perfectly with that orange gold color. I think it looks really, really clean. So you can see the pickaxe also changes into that dark void color plus the molteny fire orange. Let's see what the contrail looks like now. Same effect, just different colors. Let's see if the splash effect remains the same with the void in the middle. Yes, it does. That is one of the cleanest splashes I've ever seen in Fortnite. So the wrap is truly meant for the first style. You can see the colors don't match at all. So you might want to find a different wrap if you're planning on running the secondary style. It's kind of unfortunate because everything else in the entire set, even the glider, has this style, except for the wrap. They just don't want to ever give wraps more styles for some reason. Speaking of the glider, let's take a look. Here's the new glider. Orange flames included. Looks really good. Okay, so here we go. I think I actually like the coat better on the first style. It's not too bad on this one, but you lose a lot of the white that we had on full display. Which, maybe you want to cover it up. I don't know. Maybe you don't like standing out with all that white. You can see it from the front, but that doesn't help you from your gaming perspective. Here it is in the dark. You can see a nice duller orange. It's almost like a silvery white as opposed to orange. Take a look again from the front here. The mohawk looks pretty clean. Inside of the coat looks good too. Pretty cool. 
So I'll do a video on the super styles separately because I wanted to cover all of them for every skin, not just one, but you can clearly see what these look like. Plus I don't even have that last one yet, as I mentioned. All right, so now we're gonna test the reactivity. Hopefully this back bling does something, but I'm not holding my breath because it didn't say reactive. So we're gonna find out. I'm assuming the hair is based on a limbs. Let's take this bot out and see. I'm gonna try to hip fire here. Well, heck, I couldn't even see the hair get expanded there. Okay, so we're going to stay aimed down sights this time. Here we go. There's the explosion of the hair. Oh my goodness, I'm at 1 HP, by the way. Alright, let's try it one more time. We're going to look at the back bling this time. Here we go. Nope, so the back bling doesn't appear to do anything. So the hair is really hard to see, unless you're aimed down sights. I honestly think they added enough customization here to make this worthwhile for everyone. The only drawback I can see is that you can't toggle his mohawk on and off, but even then, it's not bad at all. So he's just a awesomely dripped out character, well worthy of a battle pass spot, and the fact that he's tier one just made it that much more enjoyable because everyone got to experience him first. So there you go. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about Mr. Renzo? Is he as magnificent as his title claims or not? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.